Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we are going to have a look at the Stag OS ROM for the LG V30. So this has the latest Android security patch level as of now. And this is based on Android 10, as you can see here. So let's jump in and have a look at it. So first of all, this ROM does not work on H932, but it will work on all other variants, including the dual SIM variants. However, Volti or View Wi-Fi will not work with the, and there's no solution to that. And other bugs I've listed down in the description below, I'll be providing a link to this in the description so you can have a look at a general FAQ. And another thing, go to location settings and then go to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning and turn Wi-Fi scanning off because this may result in rebooting when you turn Wi-Fi on or off. But if you turn this Wi-Fi scanning off, you'll have no such reboot issues. Now let's jump directly in and have a look at the features. So there's a gesture for jumping directly to the camera. And that's pretty cool. And let me turn off these gestures that I'm using, third-party gestures. And let's go in. And under the display section, you will find the option for dark theme. You have the option for device theme. This kind of stuff. Solarized, night, pitch black, dark gray style. And you have headline, body font. And you have the option for changing the icon shape. And this is a pretty cool feature as you can see. And under here you'll find some options. And you even have the option for half a quad DAC. So half a quad DAC works when you are plugged in your headset. Now let's move forward. And the bugs link that I gave in the description below, that those are source bugs. So that means those bugs will be present on all Android 10 rooms. And I update, update that post regularly. So you should probably bookmark it and have a look at it once in a while in case anything has changed. So here are some accent color settings. You even have the gaming mode and these are the gaming mode options. You have dashboard icons, screenshot selection, animations. As you can see here, a lot of options. And under the status bar, you will find options like clock settings battery style, battery, battery percentage, battery percentage without charging, network traffic and that kind of stuff. And you can use the quick pull down option as well. And here you have the quick setting options. So as you can see here, you can switch the brightness slide at the bottom and that kind of stuff. You can change the number of rows and columns here or from the quick settings too. And one good thing is that this ROM also features. Okay, let me just show you that feature when we come to it. It's a pretty interesting feature. Let me save the surprise for later. So we already had a look here in the quick settings. And here you have some status bar options for clock and battery and here you have some button things but there is no option inside here and then you have system layout option as you can see you can either invert the layout and you have these different options so let me turn it to normal you have the option for two button navigation gesture and also for gesture navigation and that is with Android 10 and you can also use the on the bottom to hide the navigation bar and the pill for seamless full screen gesture function as you can see here but I displayed it again and you have the option for gestures prevent ringing that kind of stuff Double tap to sleep, unlock screen, swipe to screenshot, long press for torch. 
gestures and you have some lock screen options here and you can modify the fingerprint authentication vibration or enable fingerprint unlock even after reboot so that kind of stuff this is pretty self-explanatory and you have the power menu options and you have notification options as you can see here and here's the edge lightning option so you basically get a notification pulse on the always on display and i like it this feature is really cool and here is the miscellaneous section where there is some interesting stuff so there are two things here first of all you have the option for allowing apps to bypass security systems or pretending to be a different app this is basically signature spoofing and can be used for micro g and other ways so if you are into that kind of thing this is a cool feature and you can enable, enable these smart pixels to save battery or enhance performance or if you just want to lower the brightness so this basically turns off a certain per percent of pixels on your screen and this protects burn-in for AMOLED displays so this is a pretty cool feature to have on AMOLED displays because it could save you battery and protect burn-in so I think that's pretty much it for this video and talking about the performance the performance has been amazing here I've had no issues of lag and even PUBG gaming at extreme FPS plus smooth graphic settings had no lags and works really good and I really like that and other than that the battery life has been amazing too and overall this is a, an amazing room and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to use it I mean if you are looking for an Android trend room this is a good choice so that's it for this video if you liked it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a nice day